back and fit his bench. Check one, two, two, one, check. Now I say it's no doubt. Welcome to episode two of Just Sporting. Well, here at Just Sporting, where you see episode one of Just Sporting, we like to touch on the various topics that we know from music, from life events to sports. And speaking of sports, we started the first episode when the NFL season starts. So taking that the NBA season starting today would be the time for us to talk about, you know, a bunch of aspects regarding sports, but life and music events as well on episode two of Just Sporting. And I say we because I'm usually with three others, but as you see, I'm just with myself today, and that is on me, because I was in Atlanta originally, but I just touched down about a day ago, I was joking, but I just touched down not too long ago, and I didn't know that I was going to make it back in time, so shout out to my boy Seth, my boy Samuel, and my boy um, Outlaw, um, hopefully I see y'all episode three, hopefully, but um, you know, shout out to y'all, thank you for everybody you know that's viewing, let's get to it, you know. Alright, so with the NBA season being back into the fold, um, and this being an NBA themed episode, before we like to get onto the NBA, let's tackle onto a life event. Somebody wanted me to talk about um, how do I handle social media, and um, how should they handle social media? You know, the social media aspects in general. And I, um, I ain't gonna lie, when they first asked me this question, it kind of took me off guard because I didn't know there was a way that um, you should handle social media, or there's a way that I should handle social media. Because how I only, how I always handle social media was just doing you and love it. You feel me? Like that's what I would literally do. If you see in my social media bios on Twitter or Instagram, I say I do me and love it. Because that's exactly what I do. Basically meaning like I go about how I go about the way I want to go about and I love doing it. You feel me? And I, I suggest that everybody should do the same. You know, because once, once you start going about ways to think, the ways other people want you to go about, to me, you lost. You feel me? You winning when you being you. You feel me? If you not be, if you being anybody but you, you know, lost already. You feel me? Yo, I'm telling you, hell, I want you to hear that again. Be you. As soon as you start not being you, you didn't lose. You didn't lose. You feel me? You losing. Why not be yourself? At all times, be you and do you. Now, for instance, I only like so what I like to tackle social media is basically like I will go and post. Well, don't get me wrong, I do know how some people like to go about social media, you know, because I like to look at myself fairly really new to social media for the simple fact that I don't go as the you know the route that many do go. Like for instance, like I guess somebody told me on Instagram a while ago, I didn't know this, everybody, uh, well, most people, what they do is, they say they have 100 pictures, right, you know, and they take, like, 93 out, and they have seven pictures left, so then after them seven pictures, they now pick five, and so now they pick their best five pictures, you know, the one that's got the most likes, the most comments, the most publicity, and then, you know, so now they do, the, you know, they have them five, so they take the five off, and now they, let's say they pick two, and then next, you know, they're down to one, and they're down to none. So they were they doing that, they have all their followers, you know, and all the people they're following. But I guess now they just have a bunch of, you know, a bunch of, um, you know, followers but no pictures. So when I guess somebody clicks on their page, they be like, oh, well, look at that. They got all them pictures. I wonder, you know, make some follow instantly. And I guess somebody also told me that they also um, make their page private so that people be forced to uh, follow them. So there's a lot of gimmicks into the social media thing, you know, however you do it, you know. That's your, that's your world, you know, you feel me, no judgment here. But me personally, I don't like to go about it that way. I just like to post and go, you feel me? You know, I show love to my people and go, you know, you feel me? That's just how I do it. And then, um, you know, also, because I just, you know, I just don't really like feeling like how things be going nowadays. To me, I ain't calling you out lame, but a lot of the stuff be lame to me, you feel me? Like, that, like, that Instagram, that's the, that stuff, how people do that, that's, that's lame to me. Um, I see how people on social media, you know, it, it's crazy, the, the, the drug of social media, for instance, like, I see somebody get, I see people get out of pocket all the time, once they get uh, one good post and get a laugh, a bunch of reactions, and they keep, they keep repeating the cycle, because why they, you know, they now in, obsessed, they now feeling the love, they now obsessed with the love, so with them being obsessed with the love, and all the publicity they're getting it from that, um, that post before, they now, they now dictates their post after, which they, they say mean now they, and it only gets worse, and it gets to the point, it's not them no more, I see on a day-to-day -day basis, that's why I just sit back before I watch, you know, oh, that's cool, that's cute, me personally, that's not me, so I just like to go about my way, the way I like to go about my way, basically, meaning doing me and love it, and I suggest everybody should do you and love it, and if that's the way that you like to do you and love it, hey, to each his own, but just know that's not my way, for me, so hey, if I ever go on a social media hiatus, what they call it, and you know, I'm just not on social media, not paying attention to it no more, 
Hey, you're going to see why, bro, because you know, a lot of this stuff is just lying to me in a way. But you can't find me here on Just Sporting because we're going to get these episodes back popping. Oh, we're going to get it back popping, you dig? Uh, so in the last segment, you know, we was talking about social media, you know, and basically just doing you and love it and, you know, not having no regrets. Because, you know, in social media, a lot of people, you know, I see people delete a lot of posts because they regret the post or just because they ain't getting no love. Why? You know, it's you. You know, you only, you know, you only regret it once you're not getting the love, the likes or whatever that you want or you're not getting um, the publicity you want. And then that brings me to my next topic. <sighs> my fucking Chicago Bears. They finally got the publicity they wanted, the love they wanted, the likes they wanted, the respect they wanted, and they fuck it up all in one year. One year. And you know what? And it ties it back all in because I'm starting to regret falling in love with these motherfuckers. You feel me? Pause. You feel me? You know, I've been a, I've been a Chicago Bears fan since like 2006, goddammit. You feel me? We are now in year two, 2020. God damn it, I'm going to say 2021. See, my head, my mind already here type shit. You feel me? I'll let you do the math on that. You feel me? I was a Chicago Bear fan in third grade. Nigga, I now graduated college this past spring. You feel me? Do the math on that. You feel me? I just don't understand. In a short period of time from the winter to now, we fucking got worse. What the hell was we doing all off season? God damn it. Like, nigga, did we only just motherfucker... Do the first, you know, the first segment of that word is off, cause it's like we even took the whole season off. God damn it, the shit's sick, bro. We suck. Let's be 100, bro. We did the best three teams in the NFL right now, bro. It's the New England Patriots, the Green Bay Packers, San Francisco 49ers. You feel me? You know, and then you know, I can put the I put the 49ers over the Packers for the simple fact that they are undefeated. But then yet again, the Packers have played more comp. But it's sick shit. But we, why right, them three teams? Chicago Bears is not in any of them. Bro, y'all see the shorts. Bro, I ain't been wearing the shorts. These ni- bro, these motherfuckers are breaking my heart. Help me, y'all. Uh, we're not good. Our offense, we can never score. So we obviously relied on our defense. The defense is now back, you know, you know, back to not being shit. You feel me? The best thing on our team is kicking. Last year we struggled with kicking. How the fuck we address it? You know, we we, we you know we help one area and now the rest of our areas suck. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. You tell me, I'm put the glasses up, bro. I'm not playing with these niggas, bro. Y'all better win next fucking week, bro. Win next fucking week, bro. I'm not. My fault, y'all be losing my temper at times. But shit, bro, we gotta get better, you know. And send me a when you see this, or if you see this, fuck you. Your 49 is doing better than you. You got me. You right. You right. Hey, my Notre Dame Myers did get you USC, you know what I'm saying? As far as college football go, Alabama still dominated. Everything's still the same there. You know, Michigan's plummeting. So, which means when my Irish beat them this upcoming week, it's not going to mean shit. We're not going to move up. So, you know, it's going to end. To me, the, the college football season now is predictable. It's, it's going to get predictable to the point that we ain't going to know or really care for what happened. It took the last two, three weeks, bro. Because that's how, that's how the way is. You know, everybody's got to keep winning in the last two, three weeks. That's when everything's going to pop off. But, you know, and now that I got, you know, got your attention, things like that, now it's time to discuss the whole point up to the, well, not really the point, but the theme of today's episode was the NBA. All right, so now if anybody doesn't know me by now, I'm a Laker fan. And I say that, I say that with pride because I've been a Laker fan for the longest. Same, same time I've been like a Bears fan, the same years I've been a Laker fan. But even more, you feel me? I've been a Laker fan since I was in second grade, you feel me? So now with that being said, bro, 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 we finna be nice. It's over with for motherfuckers, you feel me? This is the shit I've been waiting for, you feel me? Now, if you seen the previous episode, I do have the Clippers win it all this year. Why? So simple fact, listen, I love my Lakers so much that I want us to keep our young talent. But with us keeping our young talent, we could have got Paul George. We could have got um, um, mother Kawhi Leonard with the young talent. But now the Clippers, they got what I wanted my Lakers to get years ago. Now, no offense, there's nothing wrong with LeBron and James and um, Anthony Davis. But I would have loved to see Kawhi and Paul George with their young talent, which I feel like was very possible to LeBron got there. So now the Clippers is living the, you know, it's like watching, you know, watching somebody live the life that you wanted to live. You feel me? Now, you're not hating, you know, you're not hating on them. You know, you got love for them. So I, I want to just, you know, I want to them do their damn thing. I can't be mad at them. Real spill. God damn it. And another thing, too, um, 
I kind of, yeah, yeah, I might question my fandom, but I kind of don't want my Lakers to win. And I'm going to tell you why. I'm such a diehard Lakers fan that I can't see LeBron pass Kobe up in rings in L.A. You feel me? Because Kobe is my GOAT. You feel me? So now, I said, I know you're saying, like, Drew, it's, it's, it's Lakers first and um, players second. But, you know, you're right. It's, you know, it's team first, players second. But at the same time, though, you just... I can't, you know, I know the asterisk, like, for instance, I told people, I told my dad, you no know, shout out Pops, that when um, LeBron, he wanted to um, go to state to lose to the um, Cavs back um, in 2016. Me personally, I didn't really care who won, but I told him, hey, if you wanted LeBron to win, if they win this series, you know what that means, right? They're going to put him over Kobe. You feel me? They're going to feel like he's the GOAT. He's going to be the greatest of all time. Now, to some, he's not, but to many, he is. And in my opinion, he's not. He would never be the Jordan or the Kobe. But LeBron is LeBron. You feel me? Still a top five, top tier talent. You feel me? Of all time. Not just right now, you know, of all time. You feel me? So I give LeBron his retrospect, you know, that you know that sense. You know, LeBron is top five right now, he's just top seven or six, you feel me? Just a little bit behind Poppy Larry Bird or Magic. You see what I'm talking about? Because of the ring count. That's how I look upon it. But now I just can't I can't have it, man. You know what I'm saying? Like me being such a diehard fan, I can't just sit there and watch. LeBron passed up Kobe, and I already know how they love, you know, ESPN and the people, all of them love to hate on Kobe, so I can't just sit there, you know, and, and just let that happen, man, so, hey, but then yet again, I also can't sit there and be mad if we win, so, if we win, you know, I'm still gonna be there celebrating, happy with the guys, but then, I, I know it kind of makes me feel fake, because, you know, I'm that nigga that's still in the back, like, yeah, yeah, if they lose, but then, you know, they still get my love, and then far, you know, if you got the Lakers and Clippers, that game gonna be money. You feel me? And now, for anybody that's thinking, like, don't get me wrong, I want to see Quiet and Paul George do their thing, but y'all really, y'all really, you know, y'all tweaking out your mind, because I'm still going to ride for my boys, and you feel me? And y'all talking that shit, but do y'all not know that these niggas is too damn big for them? They're too big. I know, all respect, shout out to Zoo. You know, Zoo, a former like I don't know why Lakers got rid of Zoo. Dumb, you know, dumbass shit. You feel know I me? Mean? Magic tweet. But, for instance, bro, the Lakers is too big. They got too much. And I'm telling people, I'm telling you that NBA season started. I told you when, you know, when we got, when the trade happened, you look on my Twitter, bro, to right, to how we're going to do damage. And what if they're doing preseason, doing damage. And that's all he gonna be doing is doing damage. You feel me? So Dwight Howard is gonna rejuvenate himself. Javel always been my guy. Javel always been killing. You know, Shaq and the Fools gave him a bad rep, but Javel always been doing his thing ever since the Washington Wizards did for Nugget days. God damn it. And he Davis, if he can stay healthy, if he can stay healthy, that's three bigs right there that most teams other bigs don't have. You know, since you know other teams I can think of off the top of the head that got bigs and length to that matter is what the Nets. I seen them, the Bucks, you know, and shit like that. But Come on now, let's let's be real. The Lakers is too big. The only problem I think we might have is um shot creating on the perimeter. But even then, Avery Bradley is nice. People sleep on Avery Bradley. Ronald Jumper then got better, so we straight. And LeBron, you know, he can stay healthy. And LeBron is LeBron regardless. You feel me? No matter as my love for Kobe, you know, sit, well, everybody just like let me know my fucking LeBron fans know what's up with Kobe. Kobe fans know what's up with LeBron. You know, feel me? But now we all Lakers. At the end of the day, we Lakers fans. So it's gonna be beautiful to see. It's gonna be beautiful to see when of us do their thing. In all actuality, you feel me? And so what I'm like, what I like to say, man, this it's gonna it's gonna be rough. So then you got the Lakers and Clippers. I do got the Lakers winning the day. Now will they win the championship? That's up for grabs because everybody do gotta stay healthy. A D, my boy, gotta stay healthy. You feel me? But then, you know, I'm more excited too for that um, eight o'clock game. Cause everybody, hey, hey, don't give praise up to that boy Zion. Praise up to him. You feel me? Hope everything, you know, he gets back six to eight weeks. And I did tell people, too, he needs to slow down the knees because I guess that's going to sell his friend to the boy. Yeah, that's a big boy right there. You feel me? So that's a lot of weight coming down on them, you know, them young knees. So I hope he either slim up or just stop playing as reckless, you know, stay more, you know, level based and play below the rim, even though he can go above the rim, you feel me? But good thing, you know, it's not a good thing, but good thing is a torn meniscus and not an ACL. Let it be a torn ACL. Now, you're looking at his, he's losing explosiveness like a D-Rose, but as you see a tournament, you still have your explosive. Shout out to I lie, Russell Westbrook. You see what I'm talking about? So, now, no knee injury is good, but it's better to be a tournament against an ACL, of course, because he can still come back this season. But I say all that to say this. You know, Zion get real. I mean, get well, but come on now. Was y'all sleeping on my young talent? I just said that I love my young talent for the Lakers. So, what you think my boys Zoe and B.I. ready to do? Huh? What you think they ready to do, huh? Huh? What you think they ready? Oh, Jaleel Okafor. Somebody wanted my Lakers to get in 26, I mean 2015 instead of D-Russ. No disrespect to D-Russ, but that's what I wanted us to get. What you think he finna do, hmm? What you think he finna do? He niggas is finna lay down. So everybody, don't get me wrong. Pelicans can't highly lose this game. But why? Because every, Raptors feel like everybody count them out. But even if they lose this game tonight, 
But I'm gonna pick the Pelicans to win. But even if the Raptors lose this game tonight, I mean Pelicans lose this game tonight, they still will be some serious this season. Man, I got them making the playoffs. I got them making the sixth seed. Most people don't got to make the playoffs. I do. God damn it, that's my sleeper team out west. Out east, it's crazy. My two sleeper teams, I got them kind of facing each other. My sleeper team out east is the Raptors. I feel like everybody's counting them out. Like they just finna suck. Sockham is fresh off that deal. He's fresh off that deal. So what the fuck you think he gonna do? He got that money and he hungry. Come on now. And he got the got more of a green light now, cause quiet calm. Come on now. Let's be real now. Let's be one hundred now, you feel me? So now so I'm saying so now we got the what? We got the uh, Raptors and Pels, got the Pels winning that. Lakers and Clips got the Lakers winning that. And for the season, I told y'all y'all gotta watch go back to last episode to see what's my um my um se- you know, my season predictions are, you know, for um the grand scheme of things, but that's how I got it going tonight, you feel me? Pick like MVPs for this season. Um, I feel like uh, LeBron James, of course, going to be the conversation, I think. But I had to put all my money who will get MVP this season. Taking that, if he stays healthy, I'm looking at a AD. I'm looking at a Kawhi Leonard being in the conversation. Paul George is going to try to work his way up to it when he gets back. You feel me? And Steph is going to be in the conversation of MVP as well. But then I think people sleeping on Siakam being, you know, Siakam being MVP too. You know, if, they, if their record is good, they can definitely be in the mix. Same with the Nets with Kyrie. Now that could be shocking. But I feel like, you know, he's in the mix. And then I feel like Joe Embiid and Ben Simmons in the mix, too, because I like how the 76 is looking. So it's, it's going to be, a, this to me, can be, this, gonna, this got the potential to be the best NBA season I've ever seen in my life. You know, but I think it could also be the best NBA season of all time, you feel me? So, you know what I'm saying? So what I want y'all to do, man, y'all see this video, y'all got to, man, man. Man, t- tell me who y'all want, man. You know, I, if you go on my Facebook, you know, at Andrew Redding, yearly I do. Hey, I tell people to drop the 18, you know, because I don't want no, I don't want no disputes. I don't want no disloyalty, you know, see that that range. Ain't I always tell people off rip, you know, pick your teams out front. So when we lay it down the season, you ain't out here to switch the sides. Nah, nigga, pick your team. So my team, the Lakers, who I got winning it all is the Clips. If I had to put all my money on that, you feel me? That's it. But you know, I'm still gonna ride the Lakers. You feel me? But at the end of the day, man, y'all yeah, pick your teams, man. Y'all pick your teams before the season. God damn it. I'm so tired of seeing people switch up, niggas switching up, motherfucker. Uh, Look, motherfucker, what Westbrook at? Um, Houston now, the motherfucker switching up. You know, for me. So look, no, no, it's not OKC fans no more. It, look, it's loyalty. This a dying breed now. It's loyalty just gone. Shit, help me. Let me know something, damn it. For me, I'm still loyal to the bone. God damn it. What? Come on now, still loyal to the bone. That's all. You know, for me, that's all my people. God damn it. Still loyal to the bone. Come on now. Come on now. What's it's loyalty a dying breed? It ain't hard to be loved. It ain't never hard to be loved. Be loved. Now, if y'all see what's been going on lately, uh, really, I'm going to keep this brief because I really don't even like commenting on other people's beef, you feel me, because I, I used to comment, you know, try to help my boys beef all the time, but they getting up and getting back cool to the person, so now it's my beef, it's not it's not our beef no more, it's just my beef, so I don't like even comment on beef no more, but uh, my boys who see this, they know who they are, fuck y'all, y'all still my niggas though, but fuck y'all, you know, y'all, 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 gonna, y'all gonna stay y'all beef, because every time I get into some beef, you know, my, for my nigga beef, say, every time I get into some beef, it's super sad, like, that's a bar, nigga. My nigga beat something serious with it. But no, nah, for real, though, like, I know y'all been seeing, speaking of beat, that, um, Angel, that Breakfast Club, um, Gucci. Now, I ain't gonna lie, I'm one of those that was on the side, like, this nigga Gucci might be close. I ain't liking how he came out, but <laughs> recently with that, that, that Gucci that just came out with that dog, nigga, that's that clone Gucci, nigga. That's that real Gucci, nigga. If that if Gucci clone Gucci was there, nigga, that real Gucci's back now, nigga. My nigga, he was on some shit, goddammit. Why? Wow. <laughs> Nigga say, I ain't gonna repeat it, cause I got respect for all the parties, so I ain't even gonna repeat it. But goddamn Gucci, goddamn Gucci, just, just calm down, man. Just chill out, Gucci. Chill out, Gucci. And another person that need to chill out, goddamn it, motherfucker, El Chapo family. Why is this not being talked about? Why is it not being talked about? Do y'all not understand how? Bro, if somebody kill me or lock me up and my niggas don't ride as hard, y'all not my niggas. I'm on my Denzel shit. You not my niggas. For real, bro. That's my best Denzel person. Check me out. But no, for real, though. Y'all can't be my nigga, bro. This, they, they free this nigga just because he, you know, just because, you no know, nigga, they, his players, his people, they wreck that much havoc. Why is that not being talked about more? You feel me? So now I've been, you know, I've just been ducked off. You know, I've been busy. You know, like I said, I was in the ATL. So, you know, I'm just, you know, I'm just moving, 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 moving. You know, I'm not seeing what's all going on. But God damn it, why is this not being talked about? Why is it not need more publicity? Y'all talk about some shit. Then talk about that shit. That's 100. You, nigga, all you killers out there, goddammit. That's some real killer shit, nigga. Y'all niggas move shit like El Chapo's son, goddammit. Nigga, they locked him up. 
I was later, they would least don't lie, cause them niggas about that shit, dude. That's that shit I'll be spent, nigga. It's actually real that, you know, that talk that shit, that real that shit. And really, they don't even gotta talk that shit. They live that shit, feel me? Come on now, let's be 100 with it, bro. Let's be 100 with it. That shit, pff, that shit was beautiful to me. Now, hey, now if any lies, I didn't read too much on the story. If any lies was lost, like, hey, my apologies. You feel me? No disrespect, but God damn it, man, hey, man, like I said. If my niggas don't ride for me like that, they're not my niggas. They're not my niggas. If they don't ride for me when I get locked up like that, or if I get locked up like that, they're not my niggas. Come on, man. You feel me? I'm not asking you to commit no crime, but then man, just be, man, maybe you gotta get into wars, like, verbal wars and disputes about me. Damn it, have them. God damn it. Because I have them for my niggas, you know? Be my brother, he my ass. To know about this man. Hey, this is me sleeping with that Gucci. Where's the piece bank, bro? God damn it. Hey, this is a guy I learned, so I had to go my land and shit. Still got that Atlanta vibe in me. Peace back, bro, man. Like, why do niggas sleep on Jeezy? You know, I know it's probably the wrong time to talk about Jeezy with Gucci being all in the news. And I'm not getting into all that, but why do we sleep on young Jeezy like he ain't a fucking legend? Uh huh. Yeah, to each his own. But hey, you know, next subject I like to tackle, uh, I guess this, these both freestyle. It is, it's funny to me, um, I guess people going crazy about it. It's not that big of a deal to me. KD saying, um, Steph is better than Westbrook. And it seemed like Step is in the talk because Michael Jordan also said Step is not a Hall of Famer. So, but these is um, Michael Jordan's y'all goat. So I want to know, like, what, what y'all thought of, you know, you know, not really what I, what, what I want to know. But, you know, it's funny how I see y'all reacting, goddammit, you know what I'm saying? Because if Westbrook, you know, is signed under Jordan, so that could be a reason why. But it could it just be a simple fact that Michael don't want to think Step is that good? And if he's a see what we see in Steph is just a shooter. You feel me? He's not a, you know, Michael's got to understand his standards is like up here. But then there's also we got to take a respect. Steph did change the NBA. Steph is the greatest shooter of all time. You know what I'm saying? And the best shooter in the league, of course, right now. You feel me? Outside of Clay Thompson, which Steph still got to be because he can take you off the dribble. Clay can, you know, set you, shoot you. He can take you off the dribble to the best and off from three like that. You know what I'm saying? But. Me, you know, I don't say, so let's get back on the KD, um, I mean KD comments. Okay, is he wrong? No disrespect to risk, but is he wrong? No. You feel me? I ain't gonna lie, I was one of those strong believers, strong believers, that Westbrook was better than, um, motherfucking Curry for the longest until 2016 happened and they took up that 3-1 lead. And Steph took both Clay and, um, I said Clay, both, um, Westbrook and KD out. You know, just to fall to LeBron in the finals, that's a whole nother story for a whole nother day. But that's what I'm saying. So, yes, I'll take Steph up for Westbrook. And to me, he's better than him by far. The rings talk. And I only do rings talk. Skill talk, too. And, you know, Westbrook got him on the explosive or an athleticism size. But it's just, hey, hey. now, people love to say Westbrook's his defense. If you actually pay attention to the game, though, is Westbrook really a lockdown defender, like y'all say? Is he really? And now, I'm, I said this way before Dame did what he did last season. But is he really a lockdown defender? Now, don't get me wrong. Westbrook's one of my favorite players in the league. I feel like a lot of people count Westbrook out. It's because of that Dame, you know, that Dame series. My man is still ready to go to war, you feel me? He's still ready to go for war. But all I'm saying now, let's, let's not forget. Let's please let's not forget, God damn it, about Russell Westbrook. But I say if I'm taking, if I got to take up, got to draft one, and I'm putting all my money on one, I'm taking stuff. And it's down the rings, and he didn't, also, he didn't, build, he didn't build him up a team, you feel me? You know what I mean? Like, let's not say, like, he just went and joined the team or something. Like, y'all like the same, like, LeBron and KD did. And Phil, don't get me started on that KD, because KD just did what LeBron did, but better. That's a whole nother story for a whole nother day. But anyway, um, but the Steph, Steph is better than Westbrook. So, I don't know why y'all took off KD comments. Probably because KD said, it's out to KD. Another, hey, to me, the best player in the league, yes, Darden. Better than LeBron. Still better than LeBron. And no disrespect to Kawhi, better than Kawhi too. Injured or not, he's still the better. That, y'all gotta stop with this just because he's not playing shit, bro. And really gotta stop with it for the simple fact. So, if I, he still, but, alright. So, um, when Michael Jackson died, right? Let's go talk to Michael Jackson. When Michael Jackson died, basically, he was still looked upon 
you know, as the greatest of all time in pop, you feel me? Okay, Wayne just came on, my boy Wayne. Wayne, to me, is the greatest rapper of all time. If Wayne goes down, he still will be the greatest rapper of all time, you feel me? When he wasn't able to release money from 2014 to um, 2019, because of his cash money dispute, or 2013, 2012, whatever he couldn't, you know, around that time, he couldn't um, release, he was still one of the best out. Y'all just think because somebody is down, that they're, 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 I, you know, they're, they're not relevant anymore. KD is still the best in the league. And now let's take this in the retrospect of basically a quiet Leonard. Okay, now let's say quiet Leonard. Basically, remember, I was telling people this. And, and I, 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 sometimes it killed me to be so right, but I was so right. Ooh, I can't even get left no more because I be so right. But no, the series dope, though. Like, KD, I said quiet Leonard, when he come, when he come back, he gonna, he, gonna, he gonna do damage. And what he do last year? Took the Toronto team, as my pops called, went to Siberia, went to Siberia and won, and won it all. But everybody else should think about quiet. I still told people he's still top three, if not top two talent in the league. It was him and KD spot, top two in the league, no disrespect, mom. But I told people this, man. I told them, I don't know why people shocked. I told them this. It's nothing to be shocked about. So just because somebody goes down like quiet did last year does not mean their, their talent just goes. You know what I mean? Now, they might lose some athleticism, but they still got the skill. These are NBA players, goddammit. NBA players, you feel me? So listen, listen, let's take an account. Let's take an account what happened, what KD was doing before he left, and take an account what he can still do when he get back. And KD is still the best in the league, hands down. It's not close. It goes KD, quiet, and Brian, in my opinion. And Brian's only at three just for a simple fact he's a client on the defensive end. Now if you come back and get the killing defense at this time, hey, yeah, hey, so no, toodles to him. But hey, I'm, hey, don't even say how y'all say KD better than LeBron or quiet better than LeBron. And LeBron got such a nah. It's the same criteria y'all lived by in 2012, but um, in 2013 when Kobe was going on his little down spin, I still say Kobe was the best in the league. But soon as LeBron won one ring, or even before LeBron won one ring, he was better than Kobe. Oh y'all forget that, huh? But now that it's y'all turn, and LeBron's on a down spin like what Kobe was. Now, uh, no, I'm just living by y'all criteria. But then yet again, I still live by my criteria because at the end of the day, I always put skill over everything. Kobe had more skill than LeBron. KD got more skill than LeBron. LeBron, LeBron probably more dominant in the fact of strength and athleticism. He always got them. Beat there, you know, arguably got Kobe, that's arguably with Kobe, because Kobe was doing some shit, Kobe dunks, it's still, to me, still one of the most underrated dunkers of all time, whole nother story for a whole nother day, but no, so yeah, LeBron gonna be with the athletic sense of, you know, strength, and, you know, he on the real chamber, Shaq, Shaq mode with that, you know, and, and you know, in that, in that respect of that conversation, but at the same time, yeah, I got KD over Kawhi and Bron, so I go KD, Kawhi, and Bron, then let's switch back, if we talk about skilled guys, let's talk about what Jordan said about stuff. To me, if I had to pick, Steph is a Hall of Famer right now, but I can also see why he's not. Because half he won by himself at per se yet, you feel me? Yeah, he won the first year with the um, with, uh, with the Iguodala MVP, Finals MVP, but it's Iguodala's MVP. You know I mean? So now I feel like Jordan probably saying like he needs to take that extra step. You feel me? Or it could just be Jordan trying to get him to Charlotte, because you know that's what he. I probably not already said too much, but I probably already said too much this whole episode. But just know. The NBA season is back, and we've been here to celebrate, goddammit. Hey, and we back in business, bitch. Episodes coming soon. And Sammy, yo, I'm sorry, bro. Forgive me, sir. I'm sorry, bro. Outlaw, I'm sorry, bro. Hey, I'll see y'all next episode. Episode number three. Three the hallway. Three y'all.